welcome to this UML tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to demonstrate how to install the Papyrus plugin, which is a UML modeling tool in Eclipse. Uh, why am I going to do that? Uh, well, first of all, I intend to do a series of videos in which I will be demonstrating uh, certain concepts of UML. Uh, next, and for that you need a tool. And the best tool I was able to find, that it is at least free, is the Papyrus plugin tool for Eclipse. Uh, this also nicely aligns with all the other things that I do, for which I also use Eclipse. Uh, having said that, the Papyrus plugin is relatively new. Uh, next to that, it is a little bit tricky to use, uh, for beginners in particular, and it's also a little bit tricky to install. So, for that reason, uh, I've made this video. So what I'll be doing is I'll be installing the Papyrus plugin in Eclipse and configure it uh, in such a way that um, generic UML models can be made, Java models can, uh, UML models can be made, and Java code can be generated, which is uh, definitely in line with all the other stuff I've been doing in my videos. Um, if you wish to install it for other languages, you can do so, but I will not cover that in this video. Okay, um, I'm going to assume uh, that you have the Java JDK installed, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. And I'm also going to assume that, like me, you've downloaded a version of Eclipse. In my case, I'm using Eclipse Luna, which is the suggested version that I think you also should use. Uh, for G2E developers. Um, in your case, I guess you could use any other build if you like. So, let's just uh, extract this. I'm gonna send it to my Eclipse build folder. So let's just wait for the extracting to finish. Okay, that's done. So now I can open up Eclipse. And this is the version I just installed. I already prepared a shortcut for it on my desktop to speed things up a little bit. Mm, the initial startup may take a couple of seconds. Okay, in this case, since I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use this default suggested workspace, but as you can see in my other Eclipse installation uh, video, which is more detailed on the actual Eclipse installation, you can use any folder you like. Okay, so there we are, let's go to the workbench. Okay, so like I said, the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, actually install uh, Papyrus. So how we can do that is we can go to um, install new software, that's the link I'm looking for. We go to the Eclipse Luna repository which uh, should be this one. Okay, there we are. Okay, so in order to find Papyrus, you go to the modeling group here, and scroll down until you find Papyrus UML, select it, then basically choose Next. So it will now calculate the requirements and dependencies. Okay, so we're going to install Papyrus UML. Next, accept the terms and license agreement and finish. So it will now install the software. Or install the plugin actually. Again, it's not that terribly big a plugin if I remember correctly, so it should not take that terribly long. Okay. 
Okay, when it prompts you to restart Eclipse, uh, do restart. So there we go. And after this, basically the Papyrus plugin should be installed. Um, however, in order to um, be able to model uh, in Java and be able to generate code and reverse engineer code, uh, especially generate code, we have to install one additional plugin. And after that, we need to take care of a faulty component, uh, which caused me quite a bit of trouble when I first installed, but more on that after in a moment. Okay, so we have the Papyrus plugin installed now. You can actually see the Papyrus icon is here. But like I said, I need to install the uh, Java class generator, which is not located here, which I kept the URL here. I'll also put this in the comments of this video, so you can copy it there. So there we go. So I'm going to say install new software copy the URL of the Papyrus repository there and press enter so that the uh, components of the repository are loaded and again this uh, can take a while depending on the internet speed Okay, so there we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck group items by category. Makes it a bit easier to search the components I'm looking for. So what I'm looking for in this case is the Papyrus Java Classes Generator and the Papyrus Java Reverse. And I need the Papyrus Profile, see where it is, Profile for Java Models. Um, this one is necessary to uh, basically create Java specific UML models and not just Java generic models. So having selected those three, I'm going to press next. And again, it's going to calculate requirements and dependencies, uh, nothing missing. So press next, accept the license agreement and finish. And then wait again for these additional uh, software components to install. Okay, when you're prompted this security warning, uh, press OK. And then the installation will finalize, and again, we need to restart. Okay, again, I'm okay with the workspace. So there we go. Now those additional profiles should be installed. Um, at this point, I would like to note that when I did this installation procedure for the first time, I had difficulty generating Java code because of some faulty component. Um, after a long search, I found out what to do, and I'll be showing that to you now. So again, we go to help, but then to the Eclipse Marketplace, in which this screen will load. So let's wait for it to complete. Because it's probably retrieving products on the marketplace now. And since this is a new installation, it's all taking a bit longer. Okay, so there we are. So what you will need to search for is QVT. Go. As a matter of fact, you're actually looking for QVT operational. Ah, there it is. So QVT Operational 3.4. Simply press Install. This will override some faulty component, I believe. So again, it's checking if uh, we have all the necessities in place. 
should not be a problem in our case. Okay, so just leave everything checked, press confirm. Accept the license and finish. And once again, wait for the software to install. Alright, and then once again, install Ecli uh, re restart Eclipse. And this will be the last time. Because if all went well, the installation should now be done. Okay, there we are. So I'm gonna do some uh, future videos that show um, the features of Papyrus uh, more elaborately, but just now, to, just right now, to do a quick test, uh, we're gonna create a project and generate some code. If you like, you can actually um, use the uh, Papyrus perspective for easier modeling. So you can access that by saying Window Open Perspective Papyrus. Um, personal, so we have some important things here. We have the properties here uh, and the model explorer, which are essential for Papyrus. Say if you feel this is a bit cramped, like I do, uh, what I like to do is simply use my G2E uh, perspective and open the views individually. So, of course, when doing Java, you need the console. Um, the properties is needed, but that one is already here. So, one more view missing, go to show view other. Then under the Papyrus category, we have the Model Explorer. And that one is really essential if you're making UML models. Okay, let's create a project. So File, New, Other. Papyrus, Papyrus Project. So I'm going to call it uh, Papyrus Test. I'm going to model in UML and I'm going to do a class diagram because I want to generate some Java code in order to test. Um, I'm just going to call it test diagram. Okay, in order to uh, properly model Java mo uh, a Java model, we need to do a few things. So first we have to right click on model, then choose import and import registered profile. So I'm going to import the Java profile that I've just installed in order uh, for the Java stuff to be available. Next to that I'm going to import a registered package and I'm going to import the Java primitive types. Okay, lastly I'm going to, with the model selected, click on properties, go to profile and then choose Apply Registered Profile. And again, choose Java. Okay, that's pretty much that for basic setup of a Java model. So now I'm just going to draw a class. Give this class the name Person. I'm going to give it uh, one attribute. Uh, sorry, property, and this property is going to be called name, and set the data type. Don't worry if this is going a bit fast, I'll be doing an elaborate demonstration on class diagrams uh, at some point in the future. Right now I'm just testing. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to attach a stereotype to make this a real Java class with a real Java property in it. Uh, no worries, I'll explain that in a later video. Okay, so we have a basic class, so now I'm going to generate my Java code. Okay, in which case there is a model project created which contains my class person and as you can see it is a very simple but perfect java code
Okay, so that is b the basics of uh, the Papyrus plugin installation in Eclipse and a quick round of testing. So let's close Eclipse and say that's all for today. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.